but I'm not going to. Will you guys please stop killing the ducks in like here? I'm not even sure where you're killing them. Like, I'm genuinely confused. Like, there's a duck there. I thought that thing got slaughtered before. Oh, there's a chicken getting brought in. That guy's carrying one. I know, maybe I've just been missing stuff. Alright. Well, the other thing too is I should be able to bring in a research table and stuff soon, but I don't really super need it. Since we have got... We've got two drug labs up the top, but I'm also going to kind of want that in here too. The other thing is I'll also want some of the stuff brought down as well. So I could make it that, um, what do you call it, the stuff for those things stay up there. I could make that a s additional cooking space actually. Hold up, let's do that. Because that way it stays near the food and the other ones don't. Let's reinstall the drug lab in here since we're not going to need a butchering station over this side of the map. Okay. And I'll bring a light in. I'll bring in some kind of light. I don't know what yet. But yeah, that will fit. Uh, maybe maybe I put in a fancy statue, like maybe this thing. And that way that way they feel extra inspired about making medicine. I was going to say extra inspired about making drugs, but they're actually making medicine. I should clarify that. I saw I had a lifted light in here. You're green. Tell you what, let's hit you up in the corner, yeah? I already have one of those lifted. I have additional chairs like everywhere. There's one that I didn't move. That looks like there's a chair behind there as well. Alright, I just haven't moved shit. Alright, I think they've all got them too. Hey chillin', welcome in. How you doing today? What are you up to? It's an electric stove? Yes, it's an electric stove. Yeah, what have you been up to? Maybe or oh, I can leave that or oh, no, I won't I won't leave that chair there. Visitors? Sure. Go see visitors. You doing fine? Nice. I have an ibis work walking into my place. As everybody in Australia knows, I've got a one of those fucking bin chickens walking in here. So I guess that's good timing. It's always good to walk in when a bin chicken's arriving, you know? Everybody outside of Australia is just like, what the fuck? Like, go Google it. <laughs> go amuse yourself. <laughs> like, they're pretty funny. Um, let's see. Social 7 laws... Medical, what, you, come back here, come back here, fire. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, there, you, wait, where'd it go? I just, what, what, in your room? No, 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 there's just, um, there's, there's Ibis here. Man, if there was a, if there was an Ibis walking into my room in my house, I'd be really questioning things, especially at like 11 p.m. at night. I'd be just like, the fuck you doing in here? Honestly, I'd probably give it a slice of bread, to be fair. Probably send it on its way, but I think my cats would be mostly pretty confused about that. Like, it'd still be pretty awesome, though. Not gonna lie. That kind of shit happens to me. It's like one of those Disney princess moments where, like, birds and animals and shit just flock to you. Except in Australia, you just get bin chickens. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. It's alright. Sometimes, like, the way um, characters walk in and stuff... I probably, like, my RimWorld bases, they feel like home, like, you know, extension of myself and stuff. So I probably, I probably, like, address them very similar to as if it was, like, my own personal space and stuff. I really don't have anything I want. I could sell them, I could sell them some gladiuses and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know if you, like, catch any of the... Seven days to die stuff, but I did end up finding a base yesterday. After three weeks. It was a lot of wandering. And then I found a fucking place I wanted to like actually like nest up. And um the only problem is it's like it's kind of an okay looking building as is, so I don't know what to do with it. But that's my problem for later. You guys can get thrombo fur pants. What's gonna sell you? I wanna kind of like take this person's money as they're coming through my colony. But I also I've already bought everything off them, you know. Let's see if I can get pretty close. Yeah, so too much. Alright, well, let's go with that. Yeah, this Ibis here. New Ibis Scout. I like the fact that it's basically a scout, so they're getting around. But yeah, my base is doing kind of good. 
Um, we're actually getting some colors and shit. I'm working on green being like the in part here. Um, I got rid of a couple of, I don't know if I want to put that there or if I was, I think I was putting it there and there. Um, yeah, I've kind of like got a couple of colors laid out now. I've got kind of like green in the center or like a cyan -y thing going. I've got like a reddishy purple sort of thing. My hospitals are blue now. It's kind of nice. My bedding area is neon green as always. Well, on this map as always. This place is a nightmare, but it's slowly getting, um, it's still getting slowly pulled apart. Like my storage space down here is kind of like mostly gone, which is nice. Cause if I can move some of this shit, when they move the chem reactor, I'll shorten up the space in here again. And most of these buildings are supposed to go. I've only got like one or two people that can do construction on this map. I don't really even care if we get all the walls because I'm probably not going to take that wood with me, to be fair. But I do just want to get it gone. I also need to get them, now that I realize it, that is a lot of cloth in there. Um, and I think this is slate. I feel like this is slate. So I wouldn't mind taking that with me. I don't really want to lift that, but you know what? You don't always get a choice. I could go back and like undo that, but yeah, my my recreational freezer is terrifying to look at now. I have spaces because I've been sending people up in here, like peeling animals like crazy. Like, you know, if I could find somebody that cooks, I'm basically just sitting them down and being like, instead of cooking that, how about you go and butcher? Like these couple of people that are coming in at the moment, like grasshoppers, you can butcher. <coughs> Gat, if I could get you set up too. Uh, there's a rat just milling around. Um, so I guess we should probably get rid of that. Why have my cats not eaten it? Usually my cats just come in here and we'll get shit done, you know? Only a little bit better than that. Alright, most of all of you guys are pretty much set up. If I can find somebody that can cook, you going to peel? Yeah, you're going to peel. Oh. What about you, Ray Wolfen? Can you cook? Kind of can. Look, you don't need a lot of skill for peeling. Um, what do you guys do? You're not cooking. Chibo's not cooking. And go, and go should be like minor cooking. You can do peeling. All right, as long as I've got everybody in here peeling, so we can get some of these turned into meat, get some of them turned into caravan stuff. That'd be pretty good. All right. So I also have a mini pen now. This uh, particular location does not have much in the way of animals anymore. One colonist idle who? Petty? Why are you idle? Fire. I look interested in a nervous kind, wondering why. Okay. Hold up. You don't have a lot of skills, do you? Where's <clears throat> Petty? I just clicked on somebody by accident then. It's fine. I'm pretty sure Petty was one of the last few people in, actually. Um, there. No, no, no. Take me back. Take me back. I'm still adjusting to my new mouse, by the way. So I keep clicking on shit, like, extra fast. Since you don't have many skills, how about we make the ones that you are doing, even the crunchy ones, a little bit higher. Honestly, I don't want Doctor higher, but yeah, the rest of them you can do. I don't really like getting these ones set on, but I don't really have that much of a choice at the moment. So, yeah, if I can, I'll get Petty some skills. I think I have a skill trainer around here. I got one. Cooking. Hmm, Petty, actually. Hold on. I saw it. There you are. Hold up. Come here. I wonder, would you be interested in becoming a cook? And also, that one's cooking too. I could get you to three. I could get you to three on cooking. That wouldn't be too bad. That'd be actually pretty good. But yeah, I'll get them in there. I'll get them some skills. I knew I had a couple of people come in that weren't great. Actually, wait, you are set up. Clear that. Clear that. Clear that. Ah, lucky, lucky fucking pick there. I was just thinking, I'm like, reading her bio, I'm like, wait a minute. She's got chemical interests. I'm like, what's the bear? I've, I've revoked her life privileges. Where'd she go? The fuck did she just... 
the fuck did you go, Petty? There. Yeah. No, I, um, I revoked her privileges and stuff, so... Yeah, if we go to battle... Which, speaking of, I actually have a defoliated ship just hanging out over here. Not really an issue. It's actually going pretty far at the moment, but I mean, I've only got so much crops and they're going to get harvested. They're basically set up to go anyway. Back yet. Orders, harvest. Yeah, all that. Yep. Alright. Well. Pretty much if I pull out all the harvest stuff and then it goes to winter, then it really doesn't actually matter that much unless it gets over near the animals and then maybe. Um... I'm pretty sure these ones only last throughout winter. They won't keep growing, but they won't die off. Actually kind of good for that. I got strawberries up here. So everything should be set up to be... Yeah, I thought so. Alright. Well, if that's the case... I've only got a couple of little bits up here near it. And it's not that big of an issue yet. It's just going to wipe out all the plant life in the area. And because we can't come into winter soon anyway, that's not really a big deal. Like, I'm just going to lose that in winter anyway. It's just going to have less stuff for my animals to eat. And so long as my people actually do, which I have actually put a couple of items of food in here, God forbid they actually feed my animals. Say what? Can I say, what is that? It looks like a smoke leaf, right? Psychoid. Can I just say... None of the, the animal stuff. Vegetarian. Let's see. I must be under actual drugs. Hold on. More resources. Plant matter. Yeah, I want these removed from here. Because they will feed my animals. My animals don't have any problem with eating them. If they move them out, they help a little bit. Because we've got about 400 cycloid leaves. I don't see anything else in here that great. I don't want to give them corn. I could give them berries. Berries not that great. Let's see, don't have a lot of rice. I do have a little bit of potatoes. Corn's okay. Corn's actually pretty stocked. I thought I had something else, but maybe I just don't. I thought Azula was being frisky for a moment there. Sorry, I just heard like a noise in the background. I'm like, I looked over and Azula was just there. And it's Phoenix. Um compacted steel. Alright, so we've arrived up here. Cool beans. I don't think there's going to be anything to attack my people. I don't know if any of them could do harvesting stuff. It is a little bit of like mushrooms and berries and medical stuff across this. Now, where have I... there. Alright, that's not too bad. I can get that and probably a little bit in. This spot is open as well. I just want to open it for discovery of the area. There is also, uh, what do you call it? I like getting the mushrooms and stuff that grows. This looks like steel. Yeah, it's steel. All right, if I could say, well, I want to claim this. And that way I can deconstruct it. I know they'll try to probably fucking repair it or something, but if you guys can deconstruct that. And as far as this goes, I don't know how far in that is, but that's a pretty heavy gamble. So... I don't have any trees, you're right. I'm down here though. Maybe they could chop that up. They should be able to like shack up in here at least. They want to put a little roof over this spot over here and they can have like a semi nice ish area. Kind of like sleep at night, you know. I don't usually give them that when we're out and about, but it doesn't hurt to do it occasionally. That's more beds than they actually need. Um yeah, just leave it like that. What are they doing? They're having a rest. Yeah, I figured as much. All right. There's also a bunch of like wild horses and all sorts of shit here, so I guess that's good. If I bring my horses down into this area, it's actually pretty freaking good. So I only just let them roam, but fuck it. Let's up one of those there. They could bring the horses and shit down if they want. Otherwise, if they want to leave them up there, I could actually just be like, let's do that. That way. Where is this one? Where? There. Alright, it won't be as close to them, but whatever, it doesn't particularly matter. Up here, there's also a little bit of steel tucked in here. Uh, sure. I was, I was doing stuff, but my cat won, right? 
No, it's just got a cat available. Cats and vi uh cats and donkeys. I was gonna say cats and viking, because I said I saw Viking just like wake up and waking his tail happily. Got me thinking that I could buy Vikings Viking. Can you imagine? That'd be pretty cool. How you doing today, Viking? Give you some pats, give you some ruffles. They got thrombo horns and psychic shock lances. If I could get them, I just like this is a caravan that doesn't have the money, right? Probably. Yeah, of course it is, because I figured I wouldn't buy anything on this transit. But fucking hell, they've got glitter world medicine and shit. Could sell them some packaged survival meals. I've got a few days worth of food, but I don't think that's gonna pan out to enough. Definitely not enough for that, but maybe enough for this. Maybe even one horse. Like I'm not carrying that much stuff. The one horse. That works out happily receives pats and ruffles. Yeah. Get rid of that. And a little bit more. They've, they've got a lot of food. I won't be able to get the psychic shock hands, but the glitter world medicine. Um, that's worth my time to bring that down. I just don't get that very often. Also, where the fuck was my caravan? Uh, no, don't send that up. I'm not sure which way you were going, but I have to assume you were going down. Uh, Nuffron, Skizor. Maybe they were going down? Uh, you're going up? You're going up? What did I click on then? You two are going up. Did I click on this one? Uh, no, I, I don't know what I did then, but I hope I didn't ruin somebody's like pathway. Fucking freaked out. Yeah, you're the one that's going the wrong way. All right. You got like 13 days worth of food. I'm pretty sure I sent that from this one. I think. Where's your bio? Cooking, yes. Okay, so I definitely sent that from up top. Good God, this is the hardest part about having half a dozen caravans out in the world. Speaking of, I was actually over here. Oh, man. Uh, oh, Viking, after a stream last night, my mouse ended up dying. Like, right as I started editing. So I couldn't do anything, basically, all night. Um, I had to wait until this morning before I could go out to shops to, like, buy a replacement. It's kind of nuts. Um, but yeah, I um, I ended up working on stuff all day, so I haven't really slept properly today. I like a little bit of sleep, but not much. I think they're going to eat the mushrooms, but I think they're also wild horses. I can't do anything to tame them. I could attack them. Anything? Nah, this is normal stuff here. Also, I have got... I think I've got to kill, what, 10 more people? Like, the game's actually running pretty okay at the moment. It's had, like, a couple of moments where it's like, meh. But it's actually been doing pretty okay. So, yeah, the, what was that, seven people? So five people got released, left the colony. Two people died. And there's still several people in the colony that are marked uh, for death. Like, life privileges. Oh, sorry. Has to yawn. Revoked. Oh man, you guys got no idea how much I yawn during stream. It doesn't matter if I've been up for like one hour or six. It literally doesn't matter. My body's just gonna still yawn. Also, I don't have ants going everywhere. That's a nice thing. Last night was mental. I just had a drink sitting next to me and I almost drank a fucking mouthful of ants. Because, yeah, they were very, very keenly interested in my um drink. Sam, instead of making stuff, is there any... Available, yes. I'm trying to get them to hurry up and do the peelings and stuff. That way we can have more meat. Every so often I tell them to do it and we clear out like half of this thing. And then immediately afterwards, it's back junked up. Like they haven't cleared out any of these over here yet. Um, also, it's refrigerated, huh? That's not that cold inside, was it? It's one inside. All right, hold on. Get all these. Take them down by another 10. They're only at, oh, they're only down to 59. That's probably why. Yeah, that's not that cold. And this is fall now, actually. It's 1st of, first of April, May, in the year uh, 500, and, sorry, 5,511 in fall. I've been waiting for it to click over to like 511. I feel like um, I kind of, 
don't remember when that clicks over. I keep thinking it's going to happen in summer because in Australia, when the end of the year happens, it's in summer. Um, but in RimWorld, we start in like fall, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I um, kind of forget that. I also don't know why they just won't finish that. I thought we had enough wood. I'm guessing they're building that instead. That's okay. I can set up a couple of things around here of wood. Like right there is a lot. It's like a whole stack there. I'm just gonna set up a whole heap of stuff around the place because I don't think I have that many thrombos here. Like that. That should be plenty enough wood, right? You think? I'm also deconstructing these, but I don't have too many people that can do the construction deconstruction stuff. I've also got it, the foliator up here, trying it's done just to do stuff, but fine. Should maybe just attack that soon, because otherwise I'll get a different raid come in. I just don't have that many people here. I've got people coming down, I've got like two people per caravan load going out. I could probably manage it. I have to come back and tell everybody to peel animals though. Also, if that's for this pen, somebody really needs to actually destroy that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not sure who's going out on the caravan, but I'm gonna give this a go. I'll try to take out the um the defoliator ship. I don't know, like I said, I do not actually know which people 100 percent is marked for death. I can kind of figure it out if I look at some of them. It's either their stats are crap or they're just troublemakers all around. Um, but it's not like, you know, super concise kind of shit. I'll bring you guys up here and Noskabara and stuff. If I can bring you guys up too. I think that's everybody. Alright. Send us all over there and we'll do our best. I don't think many of these people have guns. So I'm hoping maybe some of the animals can step in and help. You know? That would be useful. I mean, not completely necessary, but it would be useful. I'll also try it. Well, you've got one of those things. You don't. You don't. You'll have an animal. You can go stand up over there. What have you got? This. I'm looking for people that have got melee weapons here. Uh, I'm in the middle of a fight, but sure, let's fucking punch on. Ha uh huh. If, if I wasn't at, like, max capacity for RimWorld, I would slap you around and take you home with me. Somebody's into that shit, I'm sure of it. Look, um, who have I got? I've got McJolly. I've got McJolly, Black, and Felicia. I'm pretty sure Felicia is like a pacifist, right? Uh, no. Just trigger happy but doesn't have a gun. Who took who took Felicia's gun? Why does nobody have one? Okay, I, you know what? No, I'm not going to ask that. I bet there's either a gun left at one of the bases or there's possibly a gun on one of these. Also, where were these guys actually going? What is there in their gear? Rice and steel, they were going up. Yeah, for sure they were going up. All right, well, I saved that as a sore. I need it as a raid. I've got like two raids I'm trying to coordinate at the moment. The main thing is this one shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to take this out unless he's like, it's like a seven on melee. It should be okay. Okay. Well, if I can get all of yours to punch on. Black does have a um a sword, so that would be ideal. Yes. Alright, cool. How's it how are you today, Aprilic? Getting used to your mouse. I'm not right clicking as much as I was earlier today. That was something. Um every single time I tried to like move my mouse or I just passively sat with my mouse, I tended to like right click. Like just as like my my hands would kind of like just relax and just put pressure on the clicker so it's not doing that as much i'm getting a bit more used to it it's a whole different position though than my last mouse so my wrist is kind of like using different muscles it's a little bit sore but as long as i get used to it like coming up to like pubg and stuff like that because like pubg is going to be fun because i'm so used to having played with my last mouse for uh, i don't know a couple of years so it's very likely that um, all like reactions and fighting and stuff like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Also, how's your day going, Mathis? Um, I didn't end up going to bed until like after two. 
after I actually got to start editing and stuff. But yeah, last night, so to explain what was happening with my fucking mouse, right? So I finished stream, okay? I finished stream and then I started editing. Like I literally just started and um, I I found that like my, my left click and my mouse's ability to detect movement was kind of shit. Like sometimes it was holding on the click and sometimes it was not letting me click at all. So like for a bit, I was able to like tab around between shit and whatever and kind of get around it a little bit. But like, you know, if you try to like, if you've got, um, this, uh, sorry, if you've got Twitch open on a computer right now, if you want to just click, just click at the top of the page, like as if to be clicked on the page and just start tabbing over to chat. It takes a while. Um, it takes quite a while to tab all the way over to chat. Um, so yeah, it was, it was frustrating to like try to have conversations, but then on top of that, <clears throat> every now and then my mouse would just like stuck click on. So then I couldn't actually move and I couldn't, when I did try to tab, it would highlight shit instead. Um, my caravans just arrived too. Um, and then yeah, it's detection ability, the laser and stuff kind of like got shot and like it just progressively just got worse until the point where it just didn't work and it just just it stopped mind you for ages now it's had like a broken side button as well for like voice activation stuff so i haven't i haven't been too concerned about that you know it's got extra buttons i can work around that it wasn't broken enough to replace it but when it completely stopped i had to do something about it it's most of the problem that it stopped at like 2 30 a.m and stores don't open until nine. So that's a big ass problem. Um, that was a long time to wait. And the worst part is every time my brain thought about a solution for the problem, like, oh, I can't do this. It's okay. I can do something else. Like when my internet goes down every so often, right? I'm like, oh, I can do something else. And then I realized I can't move the mouse and I can't actually just go and do the thing. And it was just so fucking frustrating. Um, I ended up just going and like laying down because like at first I need to like de-stress from the situation because I'm like this is just fucking annoying and then second of all like after I like de-stress for a little bit I'm like okay well I can I can re-enter society of socializing so to speak but yeah it was just fucking inconvenient and then I also knew that m Monday I really tried not to overtax myself I really wanted to actually be like well rested and go to bed early straight after stream and stuff like that as soon as I could kind of thing and just stay well rested and I knew that I was going to have four or so hours of editing to do in the thick of the middle of the day when it's like the hottest here so I kind of I kind of resigned to the fact that it was just going to be kind of an awful day and uh, it just didn't get better kind of thing but I did I did get a new mouse and I did end up obviously like finishing all my shit and then going in like chilling out in the air conditioning and stuff. I just didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, hey, there's a Viking. Well, I've already got a wolf, but still. Um, I do want to trade a few guys. I think that's here. Yeah, where we're attacking. So I can't just take that on. But I'm going to try this formation. So hopefully my people shouldn't get shot. I'm hoping that they should go sideways. But yeah, essentially last night was just fucking annoying but last night's actual stream was lovely i had such a great time i actually ran over uh time because i was not paying any attention and i actually didn't know that um i had no clue that um the official seven days to die uh discord server had actually given me a shout out um to basically like the wider community of people that love seven days to die so that's where all the people were coming in from and saying that they'd seen me, um, uh, what do you call it, seen the thing. And I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I have to have a look later. And yeah, that was that. Was that. So I don't know what that's specifically about. I, can you guys help kill that? Um, and you guys, if we can get used to take out this. Somebody's down. Somebody's down over here. Let's get you guys fixed up. Maybe one of his can pick up the person and rescue that, yeah? You can walk in front of it. There we go. Cool beans. 